Sometimes we need a really good reality check. A reality check helps us to see the real world when we believe something else. For example, we might believe we're in perfect health, but then the doctor gives us reality check with some test results. Jesus once gave Peter a reality check by asking him a searching question. Will you really lay down your life for me? Jesus asked this question to help Peter, to help us see the truth about our spiritual weakness and our need for a savior. Peter needed a reality check and Jesus warned him that he was not ready to follow him down that road of suffering and death. Nevertheless, Peter insisted. He said, Lord, I will lay down my life for you. Peter ignored his spiritual weakness. He underestimated sin's great power. And so Jesus gives him that reality check. He wanted Peter to know the truth. That he would fail. He wants us to know the truth. That we will fail. Fail to fear. Fail to love. Fail to trust in Jesus above all things. The thing is... This reality check is grace. How easy is it that we become complacent about the spiritual dangers in our lives? We need to hear Jesus' searching questions. Will you really lay down your life for me? Do you really have the strength to fear, love, and trust in me above all things? Do you really have the power to resist all temptation and face suffering and death for my sake? To each of these questions, we would have to confess that we don't. But thanks be to God, Jesus could. Jesus did lay down his life for us and for all people. He boldly promised, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep. Sometimes we need our eyes opened to the truth. Praise God that through his word, he opens our eyes to see the reality of our spiritual weakness. But more importantly, thank God that through his word, we can see the reality of Jesus' life-saving sacrifice. Let's pray. Lord, how often we foolishly copy Peter and substitute spiritual overconfidence for humble faith. For your dear son, forgive and restore us, even as you forgave and restored Peter. Grant us grace to trust your strength and not our own.